Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcletechsHomePage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Tuesday morning forecast update. Our weather pattern settled into a pretty good spot here for the next three days or so. A little bit cool this morning as we have temperatures in the 30s, but once we get through a cold morning, we'll actually start a bit of a warming trend today. And uh, Winds are out of the west, but kind of a southerly component to the wind. Anytime that happens, we tend to get a little bit of a warm-up, and we should have that today. Yesterday, most of us in the lower mid-60s, and today looks like we'll make the jump into the upper 60s in quite a few locations but just expect to see a lot of sun out there throughout the day kind of cool through the morning but by noon today a lot of us hitting 60 degrees or so with uh, just some perfect weather through the afternoon today so if it's been a little too cold for you for the past week week and a half today should be a little more enjoyable high pressure continues to build down across the plains that's keeping us dry that will keep the flow of dry air going Wednesday and Thursday as well so we'll likely wind up with highs in the 70s midweek but you can see on future cast uh, from Robin Soyota here. Not a lot to see here as most of the cloud cover will stay well to the north of us and uh, the only thing that you can see on the map, just that little change in the wind direction uh, to the west and southwest as far as the winds here in the upcoming days. So smooth sailing through Thursday. The uh, one maybe a little hiccup here is that we'll continue to have the pretty cold mornings. Looks like everybody should stay above freezing tonight, but we should have similar lows to what you're feeling this morning with most of us uh, winding up in the 30s overnight. Uh, we continue to watch the potential for our next cold front to move in on Friday. I think that's a pretty good guarantee at this point. You can see uh, Thursday clouds may start to increase and this front will really kind of square us up on Friday. So the rain may pick up kind of early in the day and you see a few thunderstorms going as well. Uh, the threat for severe weather, it's not zero as uh, I like to say here, but it's looking pretty low for us. But we should get a little better picture of how this will all play out here in the upcoming days. Uh, but you can see some of those showers and storms continue into your Friday evening. So we get a pretty good dousing of rainfall here, but it looks like most of the rain still expected to wrap up early Saturday. So if you have outdoor plans this weekend, does not look like those will be impacted by the rain, but definitely some colder temperatures as this front coming in a little bit colder than previously thought as will likely drop into the 50s on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, rain will be something to watch here. Of course, we have droughts, so we really need the rainfall, and it looks like we could see a good uh, average, maybe an inch of rain across much of the region. So definitely some beneficial rainfall for us as we hope to avoid uh, any kind of drought conditions and burn bans, but we are seeing those drought conditions worsen just given that we haven't seen a lot of rain. Uh, not a lot of rain on your seven day forecast but that front will definitely drop the temperatures. We'll go from the 70s Wednesday, Thursday drop into the 50s behind the front this weekend with overnight lows settling back into the 30s early next week.